If you love Gilmore Girls, I know exactly what you did this weekend. Nine years after the beloved series signed off its revival, Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, began streaming on Netflix on Friday. Fans flocked back to the fast-talking, pop-culture-obsessed girls, this time a little more grown-up, but still dealing with love, loss, and, of course, Friday night dinner. Luke. Mm, yes. What do you think about Rory's living situation? Um, Her traipsing around from one couch to another like she's Lewin Davis. Oh, it's fine. Well, I mean, you know, she's grown and she's... Uh, did you read her New Yorker piece that she wrote? I put it on the menu. Why is everyone treating this like it's a normal rite of passage? Rory is a 32-year-old college-educated woman with no permanent address. That's not normal. <laughs> Lauren Graham, Kelly Bishop, and Scott Peterson are here. Patterson. Oh, Patterson. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm distracted, and let me tell you why. Alexis, <laughs> where is she? Stuck in traffic, She's I hear. Traffic. Okay, so we're going to have a little suspense. We're going to see if she shows during the interview. Okay. All right, so there was so much secrecy about this. There's so much anticipation. When it finally was released on Netflix, I don't know if this, I mean, did it feel like giving birth at all? <laughs> <laughs> you would know. Uh, it just felt like a relief to finally be able to talk about it and share it with people. We were so excited when we did it, and... Um, and we've been asked about it for so many years that finally to, to have it out there is really fun. It, it's, it's four 90-minute episodes, so it's the, it follows the four seasons of a year. And there's a lot of closure and finding out where are they now. What's the reaction been? Uh, I've gotten some nice emails, some nice texting. I'm not a, I'm not a social media person, so I don't know what's <laughs> going on with them, but I'm sure they're just... Wildly Delighted. exciting. <laughs> yeah, everybody's liking it. I haven't, I've only seen two, uh, so I'm waiting to see the other two. Well, aren't you didn't binge watch over the weekend? Uh, to, to me, binge watching is one each night. Yes. That is <laughs> huge. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, <laughs> take me back. First day, it's been nine years. You go back to the set. Who cried? Was it you, Scott? Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I, I cried a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I cried because I didn't I didn't feel like the guy. So I had to take a little walk around Stars Hollow to get the character back. You so. mean you, it, that's interesting. So yeah. it wasn't like slipping on an old pair of jeans that still fit. No. How'd you no. get into it? Uh, I, I sat in the gazebo and relived some of our most tender moments. With, <laughs> with, with, By with, yourself? With, no, yeah, I right. imagined that we were there and <laughs> and uh, you know we're having our kisses and our our picnics and our nice little situations. And I went back in the diner and I thought, okay, I'm ready to go. You're like, I'm him. I'm, uh, I'm yeah, back. Yeah, this is this is good as it's going to get. Here at, you go. At the heart of this is really, it's a mom's and daughter's story. And, the, and when we see this as the actual passage of time, so does that mean the dynamic changes? Has everybody healed and evolved? Not at the beginning, um, but I do think the part of the journey in this in these four episodes is a journey of healing. We've lost our dad and husband respectively um, and so that gives the show kind of an emotional depth that um, I think is appropriate for 10 years later. And you guys really felt that. I mean, he was your partner. Oh, yeah, yes. your, your TV husband, but mm -hmm. your partner for all those seasons. He was my TV husband, he was my set buddy, mm -hmm. occasionally a drinking buddy, and <laughs> we emailed, and I absolutely loved him, and I knew he loved the show, and he would, he would have been absolutely thrilled mm -hmm. to do this. Well, so that was, that was, yeah. We're missing him, and we're missing Alexis, but I'm told that she's on the phone. Alexis, are you there? I am here. Hello. I'm so sorry. We had the worst shopping. Oh, believe, believe shopping. <laughs> We know. We know. Well, okay, let me talk to you about, because everybody was following Rory's love life. There's Team Dean, hashtag Team Jess, and Team Logan. I won't ask you to spoil it, but do you think people are going to be happy with whatever resolution comes to pass? I really hope people are happy. I hope they enjoy the journey that Rory takes with these episodes. You know, um, all of her past loves appear, of course, so you get some sort of closure. If, if not the type of closure you might crave, uh, there is, I think, a question answered. So that's something. <laughs> <laughs> question answered, but I wonder question posed. Now, one of the most interesting things about this series yes, is, absolutely. yes, as, as I turn back to the cast here in the studio, the, the creator knew at the beginning when she wrote the first episode, she knew the last four words that she wanted in the final episode. And we get those four words. And they are. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard we have a lot of Gilmore Girl fanatics on our show. And some of them felt like the four words just introduced new questions. I did not know the four words until halfway through filming this iteration of the series. And I, too, was like, huh, really? 
huh. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, it makes sense in terms of the journey of the show, but I can understand uh, it does pose a question as well. Kelly, were you underwhelmed? Exactly. As somebody said, if I, find, I had to ask Alexis because I thought, I, I, somebody's got to tell me. And I asked her, and, and my reaction was, huh. <laughs> Wait, <yes. laughs> Points for honesty. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, it is uh, intriguing. Yeah. 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 It's fun. What did you think? Well, I had submitted some ideas to Andrew <laughs> and Dan, which were summarily obje uh, rejected. Well, weren't they all kind of Luke oriented? No, not a, no, not at all. I had no agenda. Uh, on the top of my list was Kirk drop the gun, and we didn't get that. I'm Someone kind of compared shocked. it to the end of The Sopranos, which is. It left a little bit of a, of a question in the air, um, which was similarly controversial, yet perhaps artistically uh, satisfying. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm on the edge of my seat. I mean, if you haven't binge watched by now, you really want to know, okay, how does it end? One of the things that people love about the show, the pop culture references, and also the zippy dialogue. And what was it like to slip back into that? Did you have to like do limbering tongue exercises? I felt like I'd just been waiting to get back there. I mean, it was always such a such a fun match for me, this this language and, and playing this character. I, I kind of craved it and, and felt energized to, yeah. to get to do it again. Yeah. Kelly, you seem to always recognize that there was something special about this show. Why do you think it has resonated and people still feel so yeah. tied to it? I, I've, I've given that a great deal of thought over the years and my, my uh, position has evolved. I, but I think the real thing about it is there's a basic sweetness to this show. Mm. There's a goodness. Even, and, and I think that men, you know, so many men didn't watch it at first because it's Gilmore Girls. But <laughs> uh, the men on the show, they're, they're drawn as sympathetic working hard trying there's no bad guys there's no yeah. jerks you know they're all just trying to make their way and there's just a basic sweetness not not cloying there's a, you know and i i always think of that when i see the two women sitting in the diner uh, through the window with carol king singing and yeah. seeing that and i go Nice. Mm -hmm. Feels That's real. Nice. Mm -hmm. Real feels relationship. Good, yeah. Feels good. By the way, Alexis, I know that traffic on the West Side Highway, <laughs> so we'll see you for Hoda and Kathy Lee tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're so glad to talk to you again. Gilmore Girls: A Year in the Life is now streaming on Netflix. Real quick, do you think there could be more Gilmore Girls, like a movie or another? I mean. Could you keep These it going? These kind of feel like movies. I mean, yeah. It, it, the ending is a bit of a cliffhanger, don't you think? That's what I'm. Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. It sounds like there's an appetite for it. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you. By the way, Lauren is sticking around. She's going to co-host our next hour, perhaps with Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. We're I'll back in then. a moment. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.